Hey guys, welcome to episode number 479. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday. And today we're back outside with the off-grid solar powered aquaponics system. It's just about up and running and ready for plants and for fish. But one project that I wanted to accomplish before that is right here. And it is a solar powered fish feeder. Now, as you can see, we press the button and the Eheim feeder spins just like it would if you had it inside. And the only difference is these usually take AA batteries. And as you can see from this cord here, and as you might remember from a video about a year ago, I took one of these Eheim feeders and I replaced the AA batteries with this. It's essentially just a brass thumbtack connected to my positive and my negative wires. And those are just tapped into wooden dowels, which are the same dimensions as a AA battery. And when those are slid into the Eheim feeder, it basically replaces the need for those batteries. Now, when I was using this indoors a year ago, I had it connected to an adapter which allowed me to use it with basically wall voltage uh, indoors. But now we're back outside and we're back on DC power. The difference is the AA batteries here total to three volts, whereas my big battery here, which is being charged by my solar panel, is 12 volts. So obviously we needed to fix that problem. And I'm happy to announce that I've done just that. And this is the little miracle part which makes the whole thing work. It's basically a voltage regulator. It takes my 12 volt battery and converts it down to 30 volts so that I'm not um, overloading my fish feeder and so that it's able to function the way it was intended. All I did was I plugged it into my positive and negative load here on my solar controller, which is plugged into both the solar panel and the battery. And then on the positive side here, we do have a small fuse, just in case there are any leaks uh, in the system, that will make sure that the fuse pops and nothing else goes bad. But all the electronics are in the dry box. When the cover goes on, the only thing that's exposed is my uh, power cable and the fish feeder. So the only thing I have left to do is design some sort of little weatherproof cap to put over the top of this fish feeder so that it can operate along with the pump in this aquaponics setup. So with all of that said, the only disadvantage to a solar powered fish feeder like this is because it does need to be programmed if I do lose power, as in it's cloudy, it's rainy for a few days, this thing will lose its programming. So if that ever happens, uh, I will have to come back out here and reprogram it so that it continue to feed as normal. But I'm pretty happy at this little DIY modification. And uh, I'm also happy that I won't have to buy batteries for this thing throughout the summer. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. You can see the bell siphon is working like a dream. And I'll see you guys later.